Jen Mounts with L Style, and we're going to be talking about shafts today. So deciding on what kind of shaft to use is going to be primarily based on preference, but I'm going to make some observations for those of you that are a little more flexible in your personal preferences and would like to know some pros and cons when choosing between the different L Style shafts that are available to you. Now I'm going to describe the process of how to choose the right shaft by breaking them down into three stylistic elements. Those categories being length, composition, and functionality. Let's talk about the most dominating characteristic of a shaft first, which is length. It's the most dominating characteristic because the length of your shaft is going to influence the flight pattern of your dart the most. L-style shafts are available in extra short, short, in between, and medium. The four different lengths are labeled as 130s, 190s, 260s, and 330s. Shorter shafts allow you to anticipate the arc in your throw, so people with lob shots have more of the advantage in that way. If you use a front-loaded or torpedo-shaped dart, you might want to go shorter for that reason. Longer darts stay at a flatter trajectory, so you can shoot with a straighter flight pattern with longer shafts. You can keep that dart nice and perpendicular from the ground to the board. That's the way that I prefer to shoot. So you'll never catch me shooting with extra shorts or the mediums because I'm a kind of a shorter dart player at five foot six. I hold about eyebrow level. So if I have a longer shaft then it scratches my nose or my lip because I pull straight back into my face and release really straight forward. Okay, the second thing you want to ask yourself when choosing the right shaft is what is it composed of? You have two options with L-Style in terms of what your shaft is made out of. There's the more basic polycarbonate shafts that are super durable as is, and then you have the carbon fiber shafts that are in even more durable substance. My preference is the carbon fiber by far simply because I love the classic sleek black finish on those shafts. The only color it comes in, in fact, but the polycarbonate shafts are cheaper and come in all sorts of different colors. So if you're into that, easy choice, just be shallow about your decision, you really can't go wrong. Ask yourself, what aesthetically looks better to you? A shaft that's colored up like it's ready to party, or a nice, classic, smoky, charcoal-y type finish? Both are suitable options, it's a really easy choice. The last thing to focus on, you want to ask yourself, what is its function? In other words, what does the shaft actually do for you? There are a few different variations when it comes to the features and functionality of the different shafts. One easy choice, Laro versus L shaft. There's nothing wrong with the Laro shaft. The L shafts are just the newer model with one added feature. Flight guards, that tiny little piece of plastic that I've circled here for you. The flight guards have been simply added to protect the bottom of your dart you know, preventing it from getting torn up and splitting in its most vulnerable spot. You can see there's a seamless integration between the flight and the shaft. The two components lay really flush against each other. I'm glad I found this old kite because it was originally on a set of Laros and you can see um, eventually it tore right there at the very bottom because there aren't uh, noticeable flight guards to help protect it and eventually sort of tearing right up and to the side as well near the champagne ring but more than likely my flights just get beat up before they tear like that you can see they're very lop you know lopsided but uh if you're if you're one of those people that's very careful about preserving the life of your flights then the l shaft is a you know obvious obvious choice for you because more than likely you'll just wear down your flight eventually as opposed to tearing it before it's you know really had its full life Another feature to take into consideration is the shape of the shaft. We have straight versus slim. This is an image of both options made out of carbon fiber, but of course you also have the option to get the polycarbonate straight or slim shafts. Again, I will mention you see a variation in color with the polycarbonate options, but you only get the one look with the carbon slims. Now the slims were designed to add length to your shaft without adding weight, as you can see by the fact that it concaves there in the middle. So you have three different sizes when it comes to the slims. They're all pretty long. They're available in 300s at 30 millimeters, 370s at 37 millimeters, and 440s at 44 millimeters. A lot of people aren't really that meticulous when it comes to the weight of your shaft. I think the weight of the overall dart is imperative to your throw, but they don't really go into detail like that with the shaft. So I find people choosing the slims over the straights more often than not because they simply like the way that they look. You also have the choice between lock shafts versus spinning shafts. L-style spinners don't have the same wobble that most of the spinning shafts have. So when you're trying to stack another dart into a smaller target, they don't spin freely, but they do just enough with enough force that the flight rolls around the other flight to land right where you're aiming at, and you don't have to worry about deflections. There are two different options for spinners. The original silent spinners versus the carbon silent spinners. The carbon silents are definitely the best in my opinion because when you have two polycarbonate parts, 
uh, compose together, there's a little bit of abrasion, so you feel a little bit more friction. It takes a little bit more force to spin this. Whereas this one definitely moves a little bit more freely because you have the carbon fiber with the polycarbonate part that reduces friction over time. There's no abrasion and the carbon fiber was actually added just in general to reduce friction and rattle over time. And again, going back to the polycarbonate versus carbon fiber debate, the original silent spinners have a multitude of color options, and the carbon spinners have only the three different options, those being milky white, clear, and clear black. You can get both options in straight or slim fashion. Personally, I just like the carbon fiber look. That's why they're on my main set of Scotty B's here. And uh, this is just a different example. It's the milky white polycarbonate bottom, and this is the clear black. So I borrowed my roomie's extra shaft, don't tell her, shh, just for the video. All right, that is it, guys. Bottom line, you will never have to worry about a suboptimal setup again because of the innovation and technology of L-Style. So take advantage of all of these options because they're there for us to perfectly tailor our dart to our liking. It's incredible. All you have to do is narrow it down to three decisions, keeping in mind length, composition, and functionality. Do you want a shorter or longer shaft? Do you want your shaft to be made out of polycarbonate or carbon fiber components? And do you want it to be straight or slim, both with the option of spinning or not? For novice players out there, this entire video was in regards to seasoned players, taking into consideration that they throw the exact same way every time, they have very trained, specific mechanics, and that they do uh, see a consistent pattern in their throwing, and it's not just wild and random. Focus on what's going to be the most durable setup. Just use the classic Laro shafts. The flights fit better on them, and they are durable as all hell. It's worth the investment. I'm going to throw you a bone and also suggest that you should use pairs. If you've noticed, I've had pairs on every single shaft throughout the entire intro and this entire video because I think that they hold their shape longer than any other flight. They are the simplest design and they don't get beat up as quickly. You can see this flight in particular has probably seen over 50 games. I've had it on uh, this set of, well not these shafts, but my L shafts for about two weeks now. I've been playing for like five leagues a week and multiple tournaments on the weekends, so yeah, they are um, excellent. So Laro's coupled with pairs. Boom, you're all set. In fact, make up the Laro's with Stacy Bromberg's breast cancer awareness flights. They come in pairs and they come in standards. Just a suggestion. All right, good luck everyone. I hope you find what's right for you based on these suggestions. And at the end of the day, this is just advice. You know, there's nothing wrong with being shallow about your preferences. These aren't concrete rules and you certainly don't have to follow them. So try it all, it's a blast. I've had an awesome time just the past couple of days messing with all these different setups, trying to affix my throw to all the different lengths and shafts as opposed to the other way around. So go nuts and happy hunting.